welcome to the next El Dego station. This time I have a can of Easty Boys Pot Kettle Black South Pacific Porter. Uh, right, Easty Boys are based in New Zealand, but uh, this particular beer was brewed and uh, packaged for Easty Boys for our friends uh, by our friends at West Berkshire Brewery. The old dairy, Frilsham Home Farm, Yatendon, Berkshire. I know that they were brewing um, like a contract brewers in uh, uh, by Brewdog actually. Uh, so they changed the brewery. Uh, maybe it's cheaper for them, who knows. Um, the same artwork, but now it's just cans, not, not bottles. Six percent ABV, fresh and hoppy yet rich and black, mind-endingly delicious and uh, true original. Yeah, okay. Right, this beer had a, you know quite a nice um, history. It started as a black IPA with 5.2 percent ABV. And then progressed, changed a little bit, uh, and became a um, porter. Uh, as far as I know, they uh, used um, uh, New Zealand hops, at least grown in New Zealand, like uh, Nelson Sivon, uh, New Zealand Styrian, and New Zealand Cascade. Um, right. So let's open it and um, let's check it out. Um, where is it actually this beer now? Is it um, still more IPA or like they say on a can, porter? Who knows? Okay. Hmm. It pulls quite quite easily like a porter. Uh, quite dark now the light can't uh, go through just a little bit of um, lighter um, you know color on, on the bottom very nice small small uh, bubbles in the foam very creamy beige color it looks classy Mouthfeel, actually, it's um, IPA. Quite hoppy. Mm. Some strangely uh, pininess. Yes. Tiny little bit of um, dark notes on the background. Yeah, and chocolate. I know what. Uh, let's get into a little bit, you know, deeper in this. Because um, first impression was um, IPA, really. And then uh, something uh, in the background that makes it a little bit, you know, more darker. Yes. Uh, it is, a, you know, like a back. Uh, background um, on top of the pininess. Yeah, let's have a try. Strangely, uh, First impression is it's quite you know like a medium body, very drinkable, um, and then then goes heavy dark burnt notes that, that, that makes it you know much heavier, um, much how to say it, much more full uh, beer. The 
first impression actually on something like black IPA. But then blackness, no you know, black matter just takes over. Um and there is loads and loads of roasted notes, especially on 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 the end. But throughout, we have very nice, well drinkable uh, middle uh, with lots of uh, soury notes. You know, lemon. A little bit mm, citrusy, very drinkable uh, inside, and everything is like covered with you know, uh, much heavier um, porter type, you know, even even stout type. Um, Bitterness. Mm. I think this beer is something in, be in between, especially because they use Cascade and you know and Styrian and uh, Nelson Sivon, but I can't get much more of uh, Nelson Sivon. Cascade, yes. Hmm. Yeah, you have nice piney, um, piney particles, um, you know, uh, making it very drinkable, very IPA type uh, <laughs> porter. Yeah, you know what? It, you can you can uh, call it porter, uh, but it's you know, hopped differently. Maybe that's why. Very interesting beer. It can be very drinkable, actually. But of course, has a six percent ABV. But it's nice. It's very interesting. So definitely, you can you can feel the heritage of the black IPA. Uh, but they added more uh, roasted. Molds and it's much heavier now, uh, and has this you know unique porter style feeling in it. Interesting, very interesting beer, definitely. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this beer. So please like it, please subscribe my channel. Remember to press the bell button, it will. Reminds you about every new video and channel so you'll be up to date and uh, cheers. Oh. Exceptional.